حلوة في إجراءات أمنية لازم بس هو بس أخذ مراكز كتير يعني أنا ما حصلش فيها سلبية الكرام من مركز المنارة للمؤتمرات والمعارض الدولية حيث الندوة التسقفية للاحتفال بيوم الشهيد الموافق التاسع من مارس بحضور السيد of March, with the attendance of President Abdel Fattah Sisi, the highest commander of the armed forces and the president of the republic, as well as a number of officials and the commanders of the armed forces. This Martyrs Day marks the martyrdom of uh, uh, Abdel Manam Riyad during. Uh, uh, defending Ismailiya governorate while he was inspecting his soldiers, uh, the golden general became a martyr amid his soldiers. And because the armed forces never forgets its sons, then uh, the 9th of March was announced the day of martyr. Chief of Staff Abdel Menam Riyad was honored uh, by President Gamal Abdel Nasser. And also he was uh, honored by uh, the honorary military star, which is the highest military order in Egypt. Good morning, Mohammed. Dear viewers, welcome. Good morning, Hikmat. Dear viewers, this is a day when we remember men. We honor and commemorate them while they were honored by the being martyrs in heaven. On this day, we honor all our heroes. He's reciting from the Holy Quran a verse, do not think that those who died for Allah are dead. They are martyrs and they are alive in heaven. And they did good, both in life by being honored by becoming martyrs and they are now honored in heaven. Some people might ask why we do remember this day or celebrate the martyrs day. Maybe it is an attempt to remember sometimes difficult memories for the families of the martyrs, yet it's an opportunity to honor those martyrs and to remember them. We, the Egyptians, celebrate uh, our martyrs at every time. And also, we emphasize the idea of giving uh, and sacrificing one's life in defending the dignity of the country. This is a kind uh, memory for everybody. Despite the pain you've talked about, uh, yet we're still honored by those martyrs and their families. The families of the martyrs are also honored 
by those martyrs and they are honored that a member of their family has become a martyr which is the highest status in heaven. It's a status that enables people be immortal in heaven. Now we will remember the heroic acts of our soldiers in the armed forces and in the police. We honor their souls who sacrificed their lives to defend their country. And the President of the Republic, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, always emphasizes that the martyrs sacrificed their lives so that Egypt would live and we would enjoy security and safety. Dear viewers, the 9th of March is a memory dear to the hearts of all Egyptians. And the political leadership every year celebrates this day, this ceremony, where we honor the martyrs and their families. Chief of Staff Abdel Manam Riyad, when he became a martyr on the 9th of March in 1969, he was in the battlefront and he was defending his country. And uh, this is a pledge that he made and a pledge uh, that is inherited by a generation after the other that the state comes first and martyrdom is a status that everyone seeks without them we wouldn't have been here today without them we wouldn't have been able to achieve the projects that we are witnessing today the land of blessed sinai was blessed by the blood of those martyrs since the year 1967 till the victory of 1973 and even the comprehensive military operation Sinai 2018 and all the military operations that took place over there to face the different hostilities. All this happened on the land of Sinai and all people who belong to this great nation was able to recognize this and started reconstructing the country and we have seen a lot of projects executed in Sinai. The significance of celebrating this day is to remember the rights of the martyrs to be honored and also remember the rights of their families to enjoy uh, such a safe, secure country. With the construction and development taking place on its land in all sectors and in all fields, they did not shed their blood in vain, but their blood was shed to secure and protect this country and its people and to create uh, glory on this land as Egypt has always been uh, glorified uh, with this great civilization and this glory is uh, repeated and reiterated and is revived in every spot of this country. Today we can mention a number of projects we have seen implemented uh, by uh, the armed forces and the police. There are a lot of projects implemented in Sinai, on top of which is 18 new uh, agricultural compounds, as well as investments in the field of electricity, in addition to developing the ports of Sharm el-Sheikh and Tor, all this happens on the land of Sinai and we cannot forget uh, constructing El Arish University and King Salman's University as well as digging more than 3,000 wells to pump water and to reclaim lands in Sinai. We cannot also forget uh, the biggest project, uh, Bahr al-Baqar drainage project that provides Sinai with 6 million cubic meters of water. And this water is used uh, to reclaim 5,000 fedans in Sinai. 
It's not just Sinai that's witnessing development, yet it is an important stop that lacked development for tens of years and comprehensive development came back to it. The development uh, included all sectors, agriculture, construction, water, wastewater. And here I would like to talk about comprehensive development on the land of this country in not only one place, but uh, in the north, the south, the east, and the west uh, of Sinai. It is the development that reaches everywhere and covers all sectors and reaches every citizen in this country. And this is the purpose of comprehensive development. We always remind ourselves that if it wasn't for the blood of those martyrs, we wouldn't have been able to witness all these projects in Sinai and in its deserts. And by this development in Sinai is defending beside the armed forces our territories and lands over there. Those who sacrifice themselves for this country are all the sons of the Egyptians in the armed forces and in the different sectors, even in the civil sectors. They are all exerting their utmost efforts for the progress of this country. Thus, we need to honor everybody, to honor those who made efforts for this country, those who sacrificed their lives, which is the dearest thing to a person. And we need also to send greetings to all of those uh, who work to create new communities and new lives. Those who would have seen this uh, country 10 years ago can recognize the difference between 10 years ago and right now. And we have witnessed this ourselves. We can see development in all walks of life going in parallel together. Development is endless and this is the miracle that development is in all sectors with the same level. This is what's happening in Egypt and this is uh, what is done by the Egyptians. Uh, so uh, the blood of our martyrs is a light that's guiding us. So they have given for nothing in return and we are planting these values and principles in our children and here we are honoring today the armed forces and the police so that the children would feel that they really belong to this country and they are ready to protect this country even if they would sacrifice their lives. Yesterday we were celebrating uh, International Women's Day and today we are celebrating the Martyr's Day. So greetings and appreciation to all mothers of martyrs who brought up those sons who defended this country and shouldered their responsibility until they became martyrs. So our greetings and appreciation to all families of martyrs, dear viewers, on such a great day in the history of Egypt, we would like to send our greetings to our martyrs, the unknown soldiers memorial. I re always remember what does this memorial signify. It symbolizes all the soldiers who sacrificed their lives and themselves to defend this country. Maybe we do not know them all and we cannot remember all their names, but we remember them. That's why it's called the Unknown Soldiers Memorial. We send our greetings to you all because you are the heroes who sacrificed your lives for this country without waiting for anything in return and you did this uh, to be satisfying Allah. 
we are celebrating Muhammad today, this day with their families to express our appreciation for them all and for what they did. And we cannot forget uh, the old fighters because the belief and the creed is the same in the armed forces, which is victory or martyrdom. And we always find that the soldiers in the armed forces say that they learned this since day one of joining the military academy. Since you're talking about the old fighter, a few days ago I was attending um, the old veterans association and I met a lot of them, some of them uh, who lost uh, limbs of their bodies and limbs of them were amputated so we need also to send our appreciation and greetings to them all and the armed forces provide them with all uh, benefits as well as uh, all needs they have so we would like to remember those who died and those who were injured because there are a lot of people who sacrifice everything up till this moment. Dear viewers, we'd like to remind you that we are in the Manara International and Exhibition Conference Center to attend the 35th Educational Seminar to celebrate the Martyrs' Day, the 9th of March, commemorating um, the death of Abdel Menem Riyadh, who died in Ismailia city while defending his soldiers. Uh, he was honored by late President Gamal Abdel Nasser and he was awarded the, the military honorary star, which is the highest military order in Egypt. And Egypt also commemorated him by putting uh, a statue for him in. Uh, Abdel Menam Riyadh Square, the armed forces never forgets its sons over history. The great people of Egypt also never forget uh, their sons. Dear viewers, we are in this annual ceremony standing before you today to send our greetings to the souls uh, of the martyrs and to thank all those who are still doing more for the sake of this country. Dear viewers, in a while the president would arrive to start the ceremony. Greetings to all sons of this country. Greetings to all the heroes of this country. And we can see now that everybody is keen on sending their greetings to celebrate the heroes of this country. We are celebrating the martyrs of the armed forces and the police and every Egyptian on this land who sacrificed himself for this country. Allah, glory be to Allah, honored uh, the martyr by mentioning him in the verses of the Holy Quran, referring to their highest status amongst people, be it in the lives or in uh, the afterlife. So we will always remember the martyrs. Yes, they are being remembered on both earth and in heaven. We always remember them because the good deeds of the person last even after his death. And this is the essence of everything. This is what we're talking about today, the real value of life and the real value of the human beings. What is beneficial to people remains. And we are here to remember those who did the good deeds so that we remember it. And we are trying to do what will make 
Allah satisfied with us. And this is being emphasized today through this ceremony. Years elapse and sometimes people forget the events and forget what was done for him. But this day, the day of the martyr, is an opportunity for us to remember the sacrifices and the actions and the deeds of those people. We remember them also as role models. And as my colleague said, these are people who sacrificed their lives or uh, limbs for this country. So we should keep telling the story of those martyrs to our uh, coming generations and the next generation should do the same so that the idea of protecting and defending the country should always be there in their minds. Celebrating this day, we will witness different artistic uh, works we will watch also a number of plays as well as songs. Everybody is trying in his way to do something for this country. We are remembering the stories of some of the heroes. In fact, we are always telling the stories about the heroes of this country extended over history after the defeat of 1967 up till the victory of 1973. A lot of heroic acts and in fact those stories never come to an end and every year we find a new story to be told. Also another thing that was appreciated by people was showing these stories in drama we will see, watch more uh, during the next uh, holy month of Ramadan. And uh, by this, we will know a lot of these stories because some people uh, do not uh, expect that this happened and they believe it more when they watch it uh, as a story or a drama. They learn about these heroic acts from the police and the armed forces. Maybe one artistic work or one story might change things. And it can be more expressive than thousands of words because living through the story in a TV series is more influential and that's why the Holy Quran tells us stories. This is the style that Allah has selected to deliver his messages to us so we can use the same method and tell stories so that people would live the acts. And we will watch in a while some of these artistic works. And this is a series of artistic works that are added to others that were done and made before. We'd like to remind you, dear viewers, that today we are in the educational seminar, the 35th on the Martyr's Day, the 9th of March, commemorating the martyrdom of Abdul Menam Riyad. Dear viewers, every year the story is revived and new stories are added to the stories that we learned before. This is not just in memory of what happened on the land of this country over years and years. We want to be able, of course, uh, to do fair to the, those heroes and those martyrs as we want to be able to tell their whole stories, but at least uh, their stories are lessons for us to learn from. 
So here we are reminding ourselves and the new generations of their stories and heroic acts. So we need to tell them what their grandfathers did, the difficulties uh, this nation faced and how it was able to overcome them and how we were able to add new meanings for us to live with. Maybe we have been through critical moments, yet we were able to overcome them and to move forward with the will and the strength of the Egyptians and their belief in Allah. Martyrdom is not just restricted to the sacrifices of lives there are also the martyrs from the medical team who sacrificed themselves and also died and became martyrs during the pandemic COVID-19 while fighting it so the Egyptian people always defend and protect this country by all means and every individual on this land sacrifices himself to protect Egypt and the Egyptians. Yes, those were difficult days, not just for Egypt, for the whole world, the pandemic COVID-19. Egypt was able to manage this crisis successfully and we have seen also during it new heroes through the doctors and the physicians of Egypt and we will always remember them I have visited myself a number of hospitals and so the nurses and the physicians supporting uh, the patients uh, and confronting this uh, pandemic and uh, they can be considered as martyrs new martyrs to be added to the record of martyrs so we send our greetings to them and we will honor them also on this day because the martyr is a martyr wherever he died whenever and uh, of course uh, we can never award those martyrs but they would rather be awarded by Allah President Sisi always remembers those martyrs if it was not for those martyrs we wouldn't have been able uh, to enjoy our lives in Egypt they this is something we have seen since the comprehensive military operation that started in 2018 and led to the martyrdom of a lot of uh, military personnel as well as civilians. Our greetings to all our people in Sinai who were supporting the armed forces and the police in this operation. Appreciation and thanks to all those uh, who work to protect Egypt. Walk down the streets of this country, go everywhere in Egypt and you will find the good things, you will find hope in the eyes, projects, there is always something new. When we say that Egypt is the mother of the world, it is not just a symbolic sentence, but it is a reality. As Egypt was the cradle of civilization and the cradle of religions, as we say it's Egypt that would be equal to the whole world, this is real Egypt and the people of Egypt can always confront these difficulties whatever they are in hope for a better life and a decent life for all Egyptians everywhere. 
In fact, the Egyptians have a long history with martyrdom. And we as Egyptians are celebrating our martyrs as we remember uh, the nice events. Those martyrs are alive in heaven. So all thanks and appreciation to the souls of those martyrs. Dear viewers, what's happening now on the land of Egypt? is to be appreciated. I would like to talk to thousands of martyrs throughout history. Hundreds or th and of thousands of martyrs, uh, rather. I would like to reassure them that we have a reassured, safe, secure country with your sacrifices. Your sacrifices did not go in vain, they rather produced people, plants, factories, stability, love, families. So here Egypt stands today high as it has always been throughout history and is overcoming all difficulties. The real attempts on the land of this country to develop all sectors and all fields signifies that you were the reason we were able to have this. Today, it's thanks to you that we are able to do all this and to achieve it. If you can hear my words, my greetings and appreciation to you and to the souls and spirits of all martyrs. Looking at the families of the martyrs who are here with us today, we would like to send to them our appreciation. Of maybe they miss their beloved ones, but at least they are proud of them and proud of what they did. A big sacrifice and a big price, but on the other hand, this led to a lot of achievements and developments. And there is a strong land we are standing on to say, long live Egypt. May Allah always protect Egypt, its army and its people. As they always say that uh, the precious goes for the precious things. And the most precious thing for a human being is his life. Lives were sacrificed uh, for this country and this country is precious as lives. As I mentioned a while ago, that it's the good deeds that last forever. And Egypt would always last forever. I wish, Muhammad, that uh, the message would be delivered to every Egyptian so that he would realize what's happening. Imagine a whole family that stuck refused more than one member of the family in defense of this country and they stand and speak proudly. In a while we will see in this educational seminar celebrating the Martyrs Day a lot of examples and we will find that people are so proud of what their martyrs did. And we want to deliver this message to our sons and grandsons to always remember what happened. And the creed would always be the same uh, victory or martyrdom. Let's see how many stories we told on TV, in seminars and everywhere. Thousands of stories were told about heroic acts in this country. I would like to tell you 
that what was told is much less than the truth, much less than what happened in this country, much less than what was done for the future and the people and the sons of this country. President Abdel Fattah Sisi, the President of the Republic and the highest commander of the armed forces. Peace be upon you. Please be seated. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. He's reciting a verse from the Holy Quran saying that uh, out of the believers there are some people who kept their promise to Allah. Some of uh, them died and others are waiting and they did not change their pledge. Your Excellency, President Abdel Fattah Sisi, the President of the Republic and the highest commander of the armed forces, ladies and gentlemen, the 9th of March 1969, a day we will always remember as a turning point in history a day on which Egypt emphasized that it's keen on restoring the land, whatever the price is. A day that is written in the history of other nations uh, to teach their sons the role model. It's the day of the martyr of uh, the leader, the symbol and the hero, the golden general, uh, Chief of Staff Abdel Manam Riyadh. And this is the 35th educational seminar organized by the armed forces celebrating the Martyrs' Day, the day of immortality, the day of defending existence. And the best thing to start with is verses from the Holy Quran with reciter Ahmed Tamim al Maro. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ الَّذِينَ قُتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتًا بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ يُرْزَقُونَ فرحين بما آتاهم الله من فضله ويستبشرون بالذين لم يلحقوا بهم من خلفهم ألا خوف عليهم ألا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون يستبشرون بنعمة من الله وفضل وأن الله لا يضيع أجر المؤمنين صدق الله العظيم واعترافا 
acknowledging uh, the sacrifices of our martyrs and before starting our seminar we would like to send our greetings to them from multiple spots in Egypt greetings to the souls of the martyrs the salute of the martyr We all know that the world today is not as it was before. Struggles and conflicts here and there. And those who want to protect this country should build its capacities. And here comes the Egyptian vision to be a proactive vision in a short time and with a strong vision of the political leadership and the general commanding of the armed forces, Egypt was able to achieve an unprecedented leap in developing and arming its army with modern defending systems to be defending this country against the turbulences uh, all over the world and now we will watch a documentary produced by the moral affairs authority in the armed forces under the title uh, the honorable army المسلحة المصرية أسطورة عسكرية The Egyptian Armed Forces is a military legend Egypt was able to protect the national security of Egypt and the Arab national security. You know that we never attack others and we do not intervene in the affairs of others. We are a country that's trying to protect its borders, its national security and its interest. So the army needed to have a plan to acquire equipments and machineries. مع تنوع مصادر التسويق القوات البحرية المصرية سادة البحار غايتهم الأساسية حماية مياه مصر الاقتصادية على طول الاتجاهات الاستراتيجية هكذا تنوعت القدرات القتالية لقواتنا البحرية وشملت العديد من المحطات الفارقة ومنها امتلاك مصر لحاملتي المروحيات من طراز مسترال جمال عبد الناصر وأنور السادات غواصات طراز 
209 على 1400 فرقاطات متعددة المهام طراز فريم جوين ميكو 200 لانشاد طراز عمر بن الخطاب القوات الجوية المصرية نسور السماء الحامية لأمن مصر القومي على كافة الاتجاهات الاستراتيجية ولا تكف قواتنا الجوية عن تطوير منظوماتها القتالية بالانطلاقة الكبرى مع انضمام أحدث الطائرات المتعددة المهام طراز رافال وطائرات الميك 29 بالإضافة إلى طائرات F-16 بلوك 52 الهليكوبتر الهجومي أباتشي كاموف مي 24 طائرات الإبرار والبحث والإنقاذ من طراز أجوستا هذا بالإضافة إلى ما تم تحديثه من أسطول طائرات النقل الجوي بدخول طائرات النقل من طراز كاسا وطائرات النقل اليوشن قوات الدفاع الجوي درع سماء مصر والتي شهدت طفرة هائلة في مجال تطوير قدرتها القتالية وتأمين الأجواء المصرية ضد أي اعتداء خارجي مهما تعالت قدراته وتنوعت طائراته تطوير في المنظومة التسليحية بشبكة إنذار مزودة بأجهزة رادارية حديثة قادرة على اكتشاف وتتبع جميع أنواع العدائية الجوية كما تم تدبير أنظمة صواريخ ذاتية الحركة تمتاز بالقدرة العالية على المناورة ومواكبة لأحدث ما توصل إليه العلم العسكري تم إدخال العديد من المسيرات الموجهة بدون طيار مثل طائرات الوينجلو طائرات اس 100 طائرات مسيره مختلفه الطرازات توفر الوقت والجهد والدقه في جمع المعلومات ان تلك السياسه في اعداد وتطوير القوات المسلحه المصريه جعلتها تقف اليوم في مكانة متميزة بين جيوش العالم المتقدمة وظهرت تجليتها في معرض الصناعات الدفاعية والعسكرية إدكس مما أدى إلى سعي العديد من الدول الأجنبية للتعاون مع مصر في مجال التسليح والتصنيع الحربي المشترك الذي أسفر عن تصنيع فرقاطات بحرية تراز جوين لانشات المرور الساحلي تراز سويفت والرب القتالي المدرع طراز رافا 1200 وتوج التصنيع الحربي المشترك بتوقيع بروتوكول مع شركة هانوا الكورية الجنوبية لتصنيع الهاوتزر 155 ملي طراز كي 9 اي 1 اي جي واي ليكون إضافة جديدة لسلاح المدفعية المصرية ويتعاظم التصنيع الحربي عبر قلاع وطنية استطاعت أن تلبي مطالب قواتنا المسلحة في مجالات التسليح المختلفة تطوير شامل في القوات المسلحة المصرية واكبه الاهتمام بالفرد المقاتل إداريا وتدريبيا معنويا فانعكست اثاره الايجابيه على الاستيعاب الامثل للاسلحه والمعدات قدرات جديده تضاف الى قواتنا المسلحه بانشاء العديد من القواعد العسكريه البريه والبحريه والجويه والتي تعبر عن رؤيه القياده السياسيه لسبل مواجهة التحديات المتنامية على كافة الاتجاهات الاستراتيجية وتوجت هذه الطفرة العسكرية الهائلة بإنشاء القيادة الاستراتيجية للجيش المصري والتي تجتمع فيها كل دلائل القوة والسيطرة نطاق هائل 
يحوي العديد من المنشآت التي تضم مباني القيادة العامة للقوات المسلحة وقيادات الأفرع الرئيسية والهيئات والإدارات كما تضم مركز تنسيق دفاع الدولة الاستراتيجي مدينة عسكرية ذكية بما تحتويه من أحدث النظم التكنولوجية العالمية لتكون وبحق درعا يحمي وسيفا يذود عن أرض الوطن جيش المصر جيش قوي صحيح ومن أقوى جيوش المنطقة صحيح ولكن هو جيش رشيد جيش بيحمي مش بيهدد جيش بيأمن مش بيعتدي دي استراتيجيتنا وده عقائدنا ودي ثوابتنا اللي ما بتتغيرش تتعدد المهام وتتنوع التحديات وتواصل قواتنا المسلحة المصرية الوصول بقدراتها القتالية إلى أبعد المديات ويبقى جيش مصر خير أجناد الأرض والتجسيد الحي لمعنى الجيش الأبي في الحياة أنواع في اللي بيدي من فلوس Some give money Others give time and effort Others give the most precious life which is the life One's life is the most precious thing I myself wished that I was able to sacrifice my life for this country but I did not have this opportunity and for a while I was upset that I didn't have this opportunity but I, when I focused I found that uh, the warfare itself has developed and that's why the method of defending this country has uh, changed and that's why every person can defend this country wherever he is be it and whatever his profession is, whether he is a physician or a worker or an engineer or even on social media. And your weapon is the awareness with which you face everything you see and you publish. Now we have three elements, uh, the enemy, the defender of the country, and the third person is the indifferent person or the negative person who does not do anything, but on the other hand, he might be harming because he's sharing and publishing things without knowing whether it's true or false. You should know that uh, you, wherever you are, you are like a fighter. You can give the most precious thing to this country and you can make the martyr of every, and the family and the wife of every martyr proud of what we're doing because we're continuing his march and path. And remember that those who defend the truth and construct this country are the ones who are really defending and these are the ones that we need all to stand behind. Love of this country is there in our hearts by nature without being taught and that's why we are ready to be the country of hundreds of thousands of fighters and long live Egypt. Death does not know non-existence it is just a transfer from one life to the other and martyrdom is the beginning of a new life our life has a number of options and choices some people select uh, the good 
path and the others select the path of evil and the best good thing is when the person chooses the path of martyr to defend his country against people who are giving justifications from religion and they have nothing to do with religion and Al Azhar is trying to spread the, the sound teachings of Islam and the verse from the Holy Quran says do not say that those who died for Allah are dead, they are alive in heaven, but you do not feel. And Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, send an honoring message to every martyr when he met Gabir Abdullah, a companion, and he found him sent. He asked him, why are you sad? He said, because my father became a martyr on Uhud's day. And he told him, Allah did not talk to anyone except from behind the barrier. But he talked to your father, and this was a message from the Prophet to the families of the martyrs and here I'm reassuring the mother of every martyr and the family of every martyr that the martyr is in the highest status and in the best place if the martyr is the example of sacrifice and giving then we need to shoulder our responsibility and build our country Egypt may Allah yeah give mercy to our martyrs and support their families and protect our army and country from every bad action. Hero fighter is looking for either victory or martyrdom and this means that martyrdom equals victory and that the soul of one martyr means victory for millions and all the eyes sees always uh, the evidence on the martyr so when you walk uh, on the sand of Sinai you will see the light of the martyrs that raises you above land and gives you a high status and on the door or every martyr in Egypt you will find a crown of light so you need to bow to them when you go and visit these martyrs because in the houses of the martyrs there was a person who loved you more than himself and sacrificed himself for you we the martyrs visit uh, the martyrs we visit uh, Sidna al Hussein because he is uh, the best of all martyrs and the martyr gives us a lot and this is a meaning that the enemy does not know that's why our enemy is always defeated and our enemy is always deprived and that's why Egypt has the secret to victory Egypt when it goes through a battle it turns uh, everything into victory and if terrorism is called terrorism then the opposite of terrorism is security and safety and uh, we have been victorious over terrorism as the verse from the holy quran says get safely god willing to egypt it means safe that there is security and safety no terrorism thanks uh, to the martyrs of egypt long live egypt and the long live the martyrs of egypt in heaven The martyr is a path and the Bible teaches us to look at the end of his life. So we need to learn from their belief. The end of the life of a person reflects his values and principles he lived with and died for. The martyrs are men who sacrifice their lives for their beliefs and to protect others and they joined the martyrs and it's an honor for us. Egypt, uh, the country of uh, compassion, tolerance, and love, uh, the country that is mentioned in the holy books, and the land was blessed by the visit of Jesus and prophets and messengers. 
and this spiritual heritage made Egyptians one hand and we have seen this in a lot of historical scenes we remember 1919 revolution when uh, the imams and uh, the priests gave sermons and preaches to people and uh, the blood of the Muslim and Christian was mixed on the land of Sinai defending it and after the revolution of the 30th of June Pope Tawadros gave uh, a, an important lesson in one sentence saying a country without churches is better than churches without uh, a country I've seen my mother father and brothers uh, celebrating with us our feast and I learned that uh, belief and uh, believing in this country is two faces of the same coin my message to every mother father son daughter or wife of a martyr to be reassured because he is in a status close to God and we live safely today thanks to those who protected our borders, our land and our churches, our duty to continue our efforts and to teach our sons belief <coughs> and working for this country and we support them by praying for them and for our country every day. May God protect our country, its Nile and its people and army. For a country that uh, remembers its martyrs, so there can be a proud country. In the past, in the 1973 war, we can see the enemy, but now we face a world or a TV series as an enemy that is fighting us. We can deal now with the soft face uh, of uh, the war and uh, they are uh, trying uh, to attack the borders, uh, the principles, the culture belonging to this country. Everything now uh, is talking about this wars that used uh, the political technology means social media, artificial intelligence to reform our principles and get us out of everything we believed in before so that with our full will would be a fragile community without any roots they use the same words you use because unfortunately they are part of you. They use the, the different uh, systematic means for division using rumors, irony and even more. So the youth of this country think well and do not be the reason to set your countries on fire and let us see the face of these wars you will find here is who protected the borders carried Egypt in their hearts. These are the ones who have the real strong awareness, who understood everything and shouldered their the responsibility so that our country would always be enjoying glory. Imagine the last moments in the life of the martyr, the pulse increases, he looks at the sky and he sees light and before he goes into this world he remembers the land of Egypt, the sky, its river, its people and its homes and with full faith he says I'm leaving you in the protection of Allah. May Allah protect uh, Egypt and its people. May it always be enjoying your safety. May always Egypt enjoy safety and security. May Allah 
have mercy upon our martyrs uh, and may Allah protect our country and support us. Uh, I have uh, left uh, Egypt for the protection of Allah. Egypt, uh, the presence and the past of this world, uh, the flag of victory raised high. You were born from history as only one and unique. And if uh, all countries are weighed, then Egypt would be uh, more precious than the whole world. Those who read the history of Egypt would realize that uh, the genes of heroism are there deeply rooted in all Egyptian generations. And when it is time for the call to battle, Egypt finds all our sons protecting the den of this country. A hero is delivering the responsibility to another one. To live 50 years and make all those miracles The life and the age of this hero was 52 years where he showed all the values of heroism and sacrifice. Since 1919 up till the year 1969. In those years, you can be a role model and a military example of a unique type. You can make every Egyptian and Arab officer appreciative to you. Fifty years, you spend 32 of them on the battlefront. We need to admit that we are before a danger we need to deal with. And you die standing amidst your soldiers and you get the honor of being a martyr and you give the best example to glory and sacrifice. Lieutenant General Abdel Menam Riyad, the Golden General, and uh, his martyrdom day became the Martyr's Day, the 9th of March. He was the best example and role model for generations of heroes. Lieutenant General Abdel Menam Riyar, the, the hero. I'm Captain Ahmed Nagib from the infantry, and my story started from Upper Egypt. I had the dream to join the military academy. This was in the year 2011, at a difficult moment in the history of this country. And thank God my dream was met, and I joined the military academy. And every day when I was there, I used to see the statue of uh, Lieutenant General Abdelman Amriyad, and I dreamt of being a martyr like himself. And I got graduated from the military academy, and thank God uh, 
I served in North Sinai with the heroes there from whom I learned uh, the meaning of sacrifice and I participated in a lot of operations and every operation increased my strength and whenever a martyr dies it increases my will uh, to bring back the right of these martyrs. One day when we were targeting a terrorist uh, group uh, we attacked the terrorists and we killed them all. And because the terrorist is a coward and he is not able to confront, while we were getting back in my armored vehicle, an explosive exploded. And at that time, Walid Sayyid Abd Sayyid Ismail became a martyr and I was injured and my right leg was amputated. But this did not stop me. This gave me a stronger will to achieve a dream because part of my body went to heaven before me and I started learning sports and I joined the Egyptian team and uh, I was awarded the first prize and with the support of my mother and the support of all Egyptians I would be awarded the first rank and if I want to be a martyr then I would raise the flag of Egypt in all championships and I would like to reassure all Egyptians and my message to the people of evil that you won't be able to defeat us because we do not just walk on our feet we walk on our belief, creed and love to our country and when a martyr dies thousands others are born any orders? Colonel Hassan Magdi, let me talk to you today about the experience of a fighter who was injured during the combat and he was about to enjoy the status of a martyr on a day. I was sent with a group of my fighters to attack a terrorist dangerous spot and to kill all the terrorists there. And after good planning, and after our will not to leave one spot on the land of Sinai without freeing it from the extremists and terrorists, and thanks to Allah and to our training, we were able to kill a large number of them when we raided their spot. And at that time, all types of weapons were used. Every bullet that flew above our heads made us stronger on achieving victory and implementing our mission. And during the combat, while uh, I was securing one of my friends, a bullet uh, shot me and I fell on the f ground. And uh, I, I took my weapon and stood on my feet, changed my gun and I went uh, on doing it and at that time all what I was thinking of was to go to heaven while defending myself and my colleagues without them and it was thanks to my colleagues who were able to stop the bleeding during the combat I am able to be here with you today this injury is the best medal to be granted to the fighter and as I decided not to, to give up for injury, I went back to serve in Sinai. And this is not strange to any fighter in the Egyptian army because we have a steady creed that controls our actions. At the time of where there, is, there are some fighters who are ready to respond to the call of this country men of a unique type who have a desire to achieve victory, men who serve their countries with honor inside and outside the battlefield, men who put the protection of their nations and peoples before themselves. There are heroes who sacrifice themselves, making history and left this great heritage. And we are not going to disappoint them. And here I would like to 
I assure your excellency and all the Egyptians that we will keep our promise and we will continue. Uh, a hero would deliver the responsibility to the next hero. Any orders? ما أشرف الموتى عن أرض مقدسة على blessed land on whose land Allah revealed himself to his prophet I am the martyr who took from my life a lot to give it and if life would come back to me then I will sacrifice my soul again Martyr, when he goes to heaven, sees his place in heaven and the community looks at him with pride and he becomes as if he belongs to every Egyptian family and does not belong only to his family from every Egyptian house. From the feeling of pain once you receive the bad news and the pride that turns into happiness after accepting the fate, the martyr lives and he lives in the hearts before the streets and houses. Behind every door, there are thousands of stories that tell a story that has no beginning and no end. A story from one martyr to the next, kind faces and one goal. The martyr sacrificed himself uh, to protect this country against every person who hated. All those martyrs knew the value of this country. That's why they chose to sacrifice themselves for it. This land, where is the goal? When I received the news, uh, I felt pain and agony, but I was happy when I say, when I saw that everyone in Egypt was celebrating him. Long Egypt, a map without limits in our streets. From Aswan to Alexandria, you will find in every city and every village a martyr. Walk down all the streets and alleys, you will find all schools carrying the names of martyrs. May all martyrs uh, rest in peace. In our houses, a lot of names are inscribed in lights in the record of a country that does not forget those who sacrificed. We have in our house more than one martyr. The martyrs of Egypt sacrificed themselves so that we would live in peace. Everyone in Egypt serves this country in his own way and we are able to do it thanks to those people. A day after the other names are recorded, every day we hear about martyrs, but Egypt will always be there and we live their stories. 
If you want to listen about stories of people who became martyrs, come and listen to the stories of the elders about 1967 and 1973. A martyr dies every day for this country to be safe. Every step we take forward is thanks to them. Our friends, relatives, kind people, a farmer who left his farm to go protect his country and to protect his dignity and his honor. The farmers know the value of this land. If it was not uh, for the martyrs, we wouldn't have been able to enjoy tea and to enjoy our lives. These are the people who know the real value of this country and sacrificed themselves for us. A lot of names we remember and whose stories we tell. But whatever stories there are, those people are more than words and if someone is providing me with a service i say i do not have enough words to thank you so what can i say to a martyr the martyr is an egyptian story divided over episodes thousands of names they are the ones who give us hope hope for life and for tomorrow people who were selected by Allah to prove to us that uh, there are things in life that deserve all sacrifices. Martyrs died so that we can enjoy peace. That's why they would always be a symbol and positive energy that takes us forward to construct, build our countries and give new hope and draw the future clearly. his objective uh, even through victory or uh, martyrdom to be immortal throughout life means uh, that you would live and die as a hero after death you would be hope you would be an example to people and a remaining endless memory to sacrifice your life for others to live this is the story of the land that has seen the blood of the martyrs and the land is for the grandsons from east to west 
from the sea to the last spot in Upper Egypt, an Egyptian story. And the hero is the martyr. How you are not with me on such a day? Uh, sorry, I will come as soon as possible. We have monitored a terrorist group at spot 65 and the forces are moving to attack them. شرفت ونورت الدنيا مش قلت لك ان المرة دي ربنا هيكرمك؟ الحمد لله هتسميه ايه؟ هتسميه خالد عشان يبقى له حظ من اسمه هو مين ده يا بابا؟ ده الشهيد عبد المنعم رياض يعني ايه شهيد؟ الشهيد يا حبيبي هو اللي بيموت علشان احنا نعيش وحتى موته مختلف موته مليان حياة It's full of life for us for the whole country like your uncle Khaled didn't uh, he become a martyr in the war and yet we remember him and he will always be in our hearts and our minds forever Each one of you need to have a dream. That's why I want to ask each one of you, what do you want to be when you grow up? Hala, I want to be a doctor. What about you, Khaled? I want to be like Hiro Abdel Amriyad. Why in particular? Because he died defending his country. Very good. Why is Khaled late? Pray for him. Peace be upon you. Peace and blessing be upon you. It looks that everything is good. Yes, I became an officer and I will join the military academy. Congratulations. What about you, Dad? Aren't you happy? Of course, I'm happy. You know that this has always been my dream. May all your dreams come true. Inshallah, 
next leave we will get married why are you in such a hurry do you know that I and Ali got married in just two months that's why you are in a hurry as your father and mother what's the problem or would the bride change her mind I am telling you that the doctor decided that the delivery date would be next Thursday. Will you be here? God willing, and I will be the first to receive the new baby. The most important thing is that you get back to us. Uh, I feel so worried. Don't be worried. I will live and I won't die. Look after yourself. In the military, we have a belief either we live proudly over land or die proudly. That's why I will always be there. Okay. I will check upon you. Don't give birth before I come back. There is no God but Allah. There is no God but Allah. And Muhammad is his prophet. Mahmoud, I received good news in this hospital. Khalid's mother had four abortions and Khalid was born here in this hospital and I called him Khalid after the name of his martyr uncle. May God protect him. Khalid phoned me and told me that he's on his way and I called him back but no answer. Of course he did not hear the call. Congratulations Mr. Ali. Is this your first grandson? Yes, my first grandson. And what name will you choose for him? Yes, Khaled. You called at the, the right moment. The baby was just born. Isn't this Khaled's phone? Yes, uh, but Khaled became a martyr. What happened, Ali? What is the name you will choose for him? Khaled. I will call him Khaled.
اسألوا كتاب التاريخ عن أسود نالوا الشهادة عشان وطننا يعيش اللي ضحوا بدمهم مهما قلنا في حقهم كلامنا ما يوفيش اسألوا كتاب التاريخ عن أسود نالوا الشهادة عشان وطننا يعيش اللي ضحوا بدمهم مهما قلنا في حقهم كلامنا ما يوفيش عن وحوش من بعدهم راحوا جابوا حقهم حلفوا يوفوا بعهدهم لو وقع واحد يلاقي فضاهم جيش لو وقع واحد يلاقي فضاهم بسم الله ما شاء الله it's great this is uh, the uh, uniform uh, of an officer I cannot see well this is Noor's uniform Noor you remember him I missed him he is the absent and the present he's always a present and we'll never forget him May he always be present, he and all his brothers. Yesterday I had a fight. With whom? On Facebook, I was talking about my work as an engineer, and I said that my work in the new administrative capital will change the face of Egypt, and that the capital is changing everything. And uh, a man got in and said, stop talking about the new administrative capital. This capital is made for you and uh, for others who have money. Uh, he's using a fake name. Why don't you know that this is a fake name? It's clear from the name. But uh, I did not keep silent. I told him I'm from the middle class. And secondly, I am an engineer, and I can see the volume of work. And thirdly, I'm Wafa al Tawfiq. My father is a teacher. You mentioned your father without mentioning your mother, and my mother is an employee in the Ministry of Health. And my brother is a military officer. He, she did not talk about me. Are you here? We cannot see you. And I told him that my second brother is in the faculty of science and he will become the new Ahmed Zuel. When I leave and live abroad, I will tell you what I did. I always say to my students that there are people who live amongst us, but they are trying to make us feel disappointed and they are like Satan and as we protect ourselves from Satan so also construction makes them feel frustrated work is a kind of worship and it brings us closer to Allah uh, since you're talking about work, are you go not going to cook a good meal for us or would you wait for the officer to come back to do it? Yes, because he misses my food. That's why I cook him these good meals. Minur is always remembering us. Uh, he lives in Sinai and he reminds me of my medication. May God protect him and all his friends. And let us now watch the news and I'll go cook the meal in the kitchen. Dear viewers, uh, the most important news we receive now is that there was a terrorist attack in North Sinai targeting one of the checkpoints and we'll provide you with further information in a while. Nothing uh, bad will happen, God willing. Oh, 
The about nor don't worry nothing bad will happen god willing I'll try to call one of his friends Uncle Botrus, would you tell us, did you receive any news from Magzi? Okay, I will phone you whenever I know anything. What did he say? He knows nothing. Okay. Don't be worried. Did you find the names of the martyrs? No, I cannot see it. Someone is saying bad words about the martyrs. Why do you talk about those people? It's like those people who killed them. Don't talk about killing. There is no killing. Can we all... Be calm. And he will eat my food. Let's pray to Allah. May my son come back to me. May you protect him and the others. I'm a weak mother. Would you look after my son? Let me know that my son is, fa is fine. Noor, my son, my heart told me that you're fine. My heart, your heart always says the truth. I did not believe them and I have prepared your food for you. I am not just fine my mother i'm very well let's have our meal together i cooked uh, your favorite dish it's fine that you mother have cooked this and my father believes in god i need to leave where are you going why are you leaving me I will go to Sinai and I will come back and then I will go back again. 
and I will keep going back and forth and I will never stop but I always fear your death no fear again you won't fear my death again okay no death what does it mean no death it means that death already happened I've passed uh, the big doorway uh, and those who passed through it would never die again. How did you cross this doorway? At a certain moment, we can see and hear and make a choice. Those who are ready to pay the price will pay it and will cross this door and will live in heaven. And you paid the price, Noor? Yes, I did. I've always waited for this moment. And didn't you my, and my father teach me to pay and do not uh, stop paying? So I paid the, the price and I crossed the, the door. And I'm coming to reassure you. Very well done. Would you stay longer with me? Will I see you again, Noor? Would you please say one word to reassure me I'm alive? Forever. I know. Farewell. Farewell. You are the father of Noor. Yes, it's me. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Mohammed Al Ghazar. Noor is friend. Your son, Lieutenant Colonel Noor, became a martyr. I have just one question to make. My fa son became a martyr with his weapon in his hand or what exactly stay reassured your son is a hero he became a martyr while fighting with his weapon in his hands
Don't cry. My son is alive. Noor came to me and told me that he is alive and he is better than the past. Don't cry. My son is alive. Yes, he is alive, of course. That's why I called him Noor, because there is no Noor who dies. Father came to me and told me that success is sacrifice. Yes, it's true. Come, my grandson. I want travel abroad. What my brother did want to be in vain. I will stay in this country. And as uh, this family brought uh, Noor the hero, we, it will bring a new hero. And every day I will raise the flag. And with my strong and high voice, we will say always, long live Egypt, long live Egypt, despite all conspiracies. عايشين في خير روح الشهيد اللي فدانا بنفسه عايش نف امان ارواحكم زي الشمس بتنور وطننا وخلد على مر الزمان خويا كل ام شهيد جينا نبوس ايديكي ام البطل رمز الرجولة والجلد ابنك وسام على صدرنا والفضل ليكي ربي Because you made us live this reality that a lot of families go through. Those families that have martyrs or at least an injured one. Drama always gives us the opportunity To tell stories, maybe we have not lived by this. The story gets into every house and people see the price that was paid by families after they taught, brought up their sons.
and he becomes a martyr. After they pinned a lot of hopes on him, he becomes a martyr. And of course, as a martyr, he is always there. But of course, it's difficult for the families to miss those sons. So thank you for sharing that with us. And I said this before. This scene shows us the big price paid so that we can always live. So the least price to be paid is to preserve what they sacrificed for. What the youth of Egypt sacrificed, uh, be it uh, the military or uh, the police uh, or ordinary civilians, they made these sacrifices for us. And what Noor said is said by all police officers and army officers. They say that exactly. They say that to themselves and to others. as they are always ready for martyrdom. That's why they say so. They say that uh, we are ready to die for Egypt to live, and we want uh, to die with our arms in our hands. And if you go and visit uh, the military units, be it here or in Sinai, you will find that uh, this is exactly what uh, the officers and soldiers say to each other. He has a wife and a newly born baby, yet he decided to go to North Sinai. And this happens a lot. And if the moral affairs in the army and the police tell the real stories of the martyrs, you will find a lot of examples and role models. And these are people coming out of Egyptian normal, ordinary houses from the middle class or sometimes less than the middle class. And they have nothing to sacrifice more than themselves and it's the most precious thing. Thank you very much. From uh, the speech of the president, uh, this is the message of art that's considered to be responsible for inculcating the principles and the values of the community. Art refers to weaknesses uh, as refused attitudes and behaviors and not as creativity and freedom. And uh, the artists of Egypt have a responsibility before God to develop uh, the ethics of the coming generations. And uh, as they always say, if there are no morals and ethics, then the community would be weak. And the poet Shauqi said that nations would always last so long as ethics last. And if uh, they, it comes to an end, the community will come to an end. And now we'll take a break.